that first quarter, I mean, they came out with a punch and you guys didn't really have a response for it. What was the difference then? I mean, you guys think we're going to do or whatever. I mean, so, but... Yeah, and you knew that they were. You know, I mean, you knew that they were. I thought that um, that's the best way to give it in overall. I thought that um, we needed to control the game better. We didn't. Uh, and um, and it, it was – we blew the, the first quarter, and that's the best way to say it. We got anxious. Didn't, I don't know what it was. It seemed like we didn't have a sense of urgency, which I find hard to believe because we do know the importance and did know the importance of that. Uh, but for some reason, we seem to be uh, cautious, not running the cuts as hard. Um, and, and obviously, I mean, Maryland uh, showed up big time. I know that they wanted to revenge or avenge the loss that they had. And um, we just didn't step, step to it and match their intensity the way that we would have to match it with a team of that magnitude. It was it was to tell you the truth. Uh, uh, when I think about about the game, it wasn't so much the press. Honestly, it wasn't. I'm not being funny. I, I, I mean, they executed extremely well. Our post couldn't get anything done. Uh, the guards didn't couldn't get anything. They were all over us. Uh, we didn't do a good job of separation. Uh, didn't set the screens. They did a great job of not allowing us to uh, to set the screens, um, playing the angles. I thought that the coach did a great job. Let me just say that first. But honestly, that press was not the issue. It was not the issue. I think our press may have been the issue if we could have just converted from that. Um, the, the press, if they consider it an issue to have spent time, you know, bringing it, you know, um, breaking it, then that would be true. But, but I didn't consider it difficult. I, I really didn't think that it was difficult. I thought that there were times when we actually broke it. And perhaps had we had um, some people on the other end, on the back end of it, that could have taken a drive and drawn some contact and been able to get away with it. I mean, you guys hit a lot of three-pointers when you were down there. Not a lot today, obviously. Do you think that was maybe an issue? Maybe would have loosened things up a little bit more? Yeah, there's no question about it. I think that um, they played us much tighter. Uh, Sharice was one of those people that hit a bunch of threes. She, I don't even know if she hit a two tonight because they were all in her face. Because, and, and that makes sense for them because you can see that they're taller. You know, so they, they were uh, imposing. Uh, none of our people really um, played. I, th I thought that Stacia was the only person that came close to playing the game that she normally plays. And even with that, uh, it was a far cry from what she would normally do because she's working against taller people. Um, and that's not the excuse. We would have to just get... Um, a little bit more of a distance and a greater range on that. But um, I thought that they were much better, tight, tighter defensively. Uh, and that showed up with uh, there were times when they would double. Uh, we would drive, and uh, they did a nice job of stopping the penetration, people surrounding us and us trying to get rid of it, and that's what caused us to turn the ball over uh, instead of being able to um, see it, being able to keep the ball, back it out, and, uh, and continue to move it. Riley, you played a complete game from start to finish today after struggling in your previous few games. What was that like for you? What were you seeing out there? Um, for me, it was just making my game simpler, you know, taking what the defense giving me, um, finding it and letting it, letting it come through plays, um, letting it come through me, um, come through my teammates. Um, basically, it was just not rushing it and just letting the game come to me. That was really it, just trusting it. Was the first quarter, I mean, you guys missed a couple of shots that I think were more usually make. Was there just tightness, nerves, their defense, combination? I think it was just the lack of urgency and aggressiveness. Um, just um, we didn't attack their press in the beginning, and we were kind of playing passive, not taking, you know, not going at them like they were going at us. Mm -hmm. So we – it showed, you know, we fell off and we were for, we were taking jump shots in the beginning where we should have been attacking, drawing contact, you know, trying to get to the free throw line. Um, in the second quarter, we did that and it helped us a lot, I see. I mean, you made guys a run, I think, to cut to eight in the second quarter early. I'm that, sorry? You made a run in the second quarter to cut to eight mm -hmm. for six points or something like that. Then after that, it was kind of a double digit. 
one of those things you couldn't get close enough to mm -hmm. put any pressure on them to maybe tighten up a little bit? I think that the people that were in at the time when we were able to make that run, we were playing um, aggressive defense, full court press, pressure. But I didn't think that we could sustain. Um, it would have been great had we been able to stay close enough that we wouldn't have had to pl apply the pressure so early so that we would have had that kind of energy and being able to be intense for a lot longer period of time. And I think that it could have helped us a great deal because we dog on sure weren't, weren't hitting shots. Uh, so the best way for us to do it is get the steal, get the layup. That pumps us up, and, um, and, and it obviously makes whoever the, the opposing team uh, a lot more um, skeptical about the kind of passes that they were going to make. Uh, but we, we couldn't, like you said, we couldn't get close enough. It seemed like we would do something, uh, in some instances, basically hurt ourselves, basically hurt ourselves with a turnover. Coach, early foul trouble for Victoria Harris today. Did you envision her playing a little bit more than 13 minutes? Let me tell you something. Yeah. V v Vicky, I, I, I can't even tell you enough. She is a very talented player. I don't know why this year is called the senior 13-minute game, maybe 15-minute game. If we could keep her in the game, and I don't I'm, – I'm very frustrated with that. It's to the point where, okay, how about if I just start somebody else, have them play, and then Vicky can come in there. But Because we need her. We cannot afford – you notice that the next person we put in – was um, was uh, the nice. big girl? I mean, Jordan, Jordan, um, Jordan didn't do a bad job for us, but Jordan has not played significant minutes against longer, quicker athletes like that. You know, uh, and it would be great. I think that Vicky gets too anxious, and uh, uh, that's going to be the key for me is figure out how we can keep her in the game longer because Stacia is used to playing with her quite a bit, and I thought that uh, they could have had a nice play. And so there were times when when we weren't calling things because um, T-Baby, for example, was not the normal person that would have been in there in that spot. And, in fact, you may have seen us play um, Mayel at the four. And Mayel is a three player. Um, but, uh, again, to, to try to give us a little bit more flexibility, we took a person from the perimeter and put her on the inside. Uh, I thought that at the end of the day, those, those big people were too much for us. We just could not handle them. They were able to rebound, blocking shots, you know, uh, closing off, and we weren't, weren't getting a shot. Those shots quick enough. Coach, who's T baby? Who? <laughs> T baby. What about her? Takia Matt. Oh, oh Takia Matt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The player I, I, and the roster. She's. I mean, she's. Uh, I, I like the way she plays. I mean, she's intense. Um, but she doesn't have quite the size. She, she is um, really intense on the defensive side of it, highly emotional, and um, she's not going to just let a pass come up and she's not go for it. But in this case, uh, we found a hard, made it difficult to find an even kill in terms of how we need to play the defense. I thought that we were making a lot of foolish um, stabs at the ball, which was taking us out of position, which has a rippling effect, and so you were getting those layups when we were shooting at things. And um, it's, it doesn't make sense. I mean, we were breaking basic rules that we understand about the press, um, which means that uh, we lost control of our minds at that particular point. And uh, the other team was able to, to capitalize on that. Uh, but hopefully, um, hopefully, if we get a chance to play them again, we'll be able to address this in a much more meaningful way.